What is up, Messenger? This is your boy Joshua Sprague coming at you today with a little reader Q&A. So got this question recently from a reader that said, how do I establish credibility if I don't have any fancy letters behind my name? And I love this question. This is such a great question because all of us are wanting to get more credibility. We wanting to be seen as more of an expert in our space, be acknowledged more as the authority. Of course, what happens then as a result is more people come to you, you get more business, your brand grows, everything's good. So I wanna share with you four different ways that you can establish credibility for yourself, even if you're just starting out, especially if you're just starting out, and that do not require you to have fancy letters behind your name, all right? Don't have to go to school and invest all this money, blah, 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 blah. So the first one is to do interviews with other experts. Now, why does this work so well? Well, here's the thing. Just by hanging out with, being associated with, and sharing those interviews with other people, you are instantly seen as an authority in your space because you're connecting with them. It's like when you see somebody on Oprah or you see somebody on Larry King or you see somebody on TV being interviewed, instantly they are seen as more of an expert than somebody who's not on that show. It's the exact same thing in the online world. So interview other prominent experts in your niche and you will start to be seen as an expert by association just by that fact. Now, the second thing is to create a press release and launch it on PR web. Now, they've got different tiers of press releases that you can release, but here's the magic about this, okay? So listen up. Pr PR web has a option, a pricing option. I believe it's like about 400 bucks or something like that. But what it will do is it will guarantee that that press release then gets distributed and syndicated on places like the New York Times, USA Today, and other associated press, like big name press. And then what you can do is you can then go on your website and say, look, I've been featured on the New York Times, I've been featured on the USA Today, and plaster that all over your marketing, plaster that all over your website. Whenever you're introducing yourself, you can say then that you've been featured on the New York Times, and boom, er, instant credibility for you. And all it costs is a little chunk of change to get that press release syndicated and out to the world. So that's number two. Number three, <clears throat> excuse me, is a little strategy from my friend Pat Flynn, who I actually became associated with by interviewing him. So to tie back to point number one, but he has this cool strategy called Be Everywhere. And what it basically means is that he does everything he can to be seen in the online and public eye. So he does public speaking, he does blog posts, he does videos, he has a podcast. Um, he's all over the place. He's trying to dominate the market so that everybody remembers him. You wanna do the same thing. You know, create videos, have a video blog post, do speaking, uh, have a podcast, get your name out there as much as you can. The truth is you don't need any fancy letters behind your name in order to be everywhere and be like the king content creator and be the person that's always in everybody else's uh, you know, reminder like that you're always in their face. And I don't mean that in an aggressive way, but I just mean you're popping up all over the place so they can't forget about you. So be everywhere is a great way to get instant credibility. And the fourth and final thing that I'm gonna share with you today to get guaranteed instant credibility without having those letters is to write a freaking book. And this is what I hound on all the time because I know how it changed my life and my, uh, my presence online. I instantly was seen as an authority, got instant credibility by writing a book. The truth is people who have books are seen as an authority. And the best part was I was not the expert in the topic that I wrote the book on. I just interviewed other people, compiled their expertise, and that lifted me up as well and got me that credibility. So write a book. 
Now, here's the deal. If you are thinking, man, okay, I'm ready to do this. I want to write a book and I want to put all of these things together, then we need to have a conversation because I have some very limited spaces available for strategy sessions where I'm going to help you get clarity on exactly what to write your book about and also see if it's a good fit for us to potentially work together and have me help you become a guaranteed best-selling author. There's only a select few people that I work with for this, but you know what? Go ahead and fill out the strategy session application and let's see if it's worth having a chat. And uh, there's a link below or you can just go to interviewtoexpert.com forward slash strategy hyphen session and fill that out. It's going to be awesome. We'll get your book written in record, record time. So those are my four tips on how you can establish instant credibility without all those fancy letters behind your name. Love to hear your thoughts and feedback below on which one of those you are going to implement first. So leave me a comment below and of course share this video if you liked it and loved it and all that goody goody stuff. And I'll see you guys really, really soon. Cheers.